Hey, what is going on guys? In this video I'm going to be showing you my gaming setup which is right behind the camera right here and um, I just bought a brand new desk here a little bit ago and wanted to show you guys my overall gaming setup. I pretty much have it 95% done. Don't have anything else to add really. But uh, hit that uh, subscribe button if you're new. We're almost to 1,500 subs. By the time I'm probably done editing it, it will probably be past it, but still, um, hit that like button. I want to get to, let's say, 25 likes on this video, like the last one. We actually did get the 25 likes before the first 24 hours, so I'm very happy with that. Thank you guys, and I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Alexa, turn on the lights. So before I get started on this video guys, I just wanted to let you know that this is not being run by a PC, it's actually being run by a laptop over here, and that's where I'm going to get started with my video. The first thing that I have to show you guys is the Alienware 13 R3, I got it back in 2016 for a present. Um, by my understanding that their price range was around $1,000 to $2,100. Uh, I got one of the higher end ones with the i7 and the NVIDIA GTX 1060 and overall I love this laptop, it has a really, it's pretty light for a gaming laptop for a newer one, I'm not going to pick it up because it has tons of stuff plugged into it right now, which you can't see because I drilled a hole right there. and. It's extremely fast, efficient. I can open Photoshop, Premiere, Blender, and I can open pretty much anything on this laptop and still have the i7 run and blow 100%. So it's, it utilizes all of its stuff really good. I don't know how to explain that really, but um, perfect for what I'm doing. I'm still in high school, so I need a laptop for schoolwork and stuff. Perfect work laptop and gaming. It's kind of like a two in one, per se. But overall, great laptop, totally recommend it. So then I'm gonna move on to the mouse over here. For my mouse, I'm using a Razer Mamba Wireless. It goes around $160. Got it about two years ago, also, right around when I got my Alienware. And overall, it's a really good mouse, I'm not even kidding. I do not use the wireless feature that much because it has disconnected a couple times, but still with the wire right here, I have it right over here, it's still perfectly fine. The wire is extremely long. I do play um, my games with it wired because I don't like it disconnecting. I actually lost the wireless thing or whatever it is. Overall, it's a, it's a pretty big mouse. It, I love the chroma effect, that's one of the reasons why I got it. I love the Razer chroma effect stuff. And um, it goes up to 16,000 DPI, I don't know who would ever use that, but that's crazy fast. Definitely worth the purchase if you're a serious gamer, but yeah, I totally recommend it to you guys. So right behind me, we're dealing with the Razer Black Widow chroma. Right here. I'll move this out of the way. Again, it has a chroma effect, that's why I got it, and also it is super clicky. Love that. Overall, really good keyboard. Another one right behind me, I'm gonna show you guys my mic. It is a Fifine K668 right here, and it's being held up by a newer microphone uh, arm stand. About the mic, it is only $20. It is probably the best quality mic I've ever used. So that's one of the reasons why I bought it. But like, actually look at this arm, guys. It can go wherever you want it to. 360 degrees over this way. 
can go up like this, over like this, you can move it up, down, wherever you want, guys. But, awesome mic, awesome stand, that's all I have to say about that. So, onto the speakers, we have a set of t uh, two Avon trees right here. They are $60. They are wireless and wired speakers, so you don't have to charge them, but you plug them in and they're wireless. So you connect them through wireless, but you have to plug them in, which I didn't want to be charging my speakers all the time, so that's why I got them. But really good sound quality, they're both synced together. On to the decoration stuff, we have um, these fake plants right here, I got them in the white white little case right here. They're perfect little plants for decoration and stuff. I got this one to match my colors right here. I also have two of them right over there. And I just bought these for decoration. So I, I really like these. These are $15 for a set of six. I didn't really need six. I only needed two, but I ended up using four. But awesome plants. They actually do feel real like this one's actually kind of spiky if you can see this yeah so they look real and act real by touch and onto the monitors we go we have a dell 24 inch monitor right here i have i just actually bought it less than a month ago and it is pretty much the best a monitor under a hundred dollars that you can probably get and yeah you're probably wondering why it was under a hundred dollars it's an older version monitor but it's an awesome monitor it, and then the other one right behind me right here is a Dell 27 inch curved monitor I got this back um, right before my Alienware laptop about a couple months before that um, awesome monitor, totally would recommend this one, though it is not on sale on Amazon anymore. There is one for sale for $500, but do not buy it. I got it for around $300 at the time, it's a 2 millisecond response time. Awesome monitor. This is my main monitor, and then I usually put my voice uh, trolling stuff when I'm doing my videos on this monitor right here. And. Um, then when I'm live streaming, I'll have like the chat right here, the game, and then like something open right there on the laptop. But awesome monitor, definitely would recommend if you can find one. So let's move on to the webcam right here. We have a Logitech uh, C922 ProStream webcam. I got it around $80 around Christmas. I got it with, uh, for a gift. It's awesome. It's a really nice quality webcam. It streams in 1080 with uh, 60 FPS. It's pretty good. And if you saw in my latest video that lag, that was because I was testing out the microphone on almost all of those clips. The ones with the lag were the ones with the Logitech. And as you can see, the quality, whereas using my uh, computer integrated webcam, and the Logitech difference. So moving on, we have the Amazon Alexa right behind me. So, it's, I turned it off right now, so it's not gonna respawn. Oh. Never mind. Okay, but Alexa is an awesome tool. I use it to use all my lighting stuff. Alright, we get it, Alexa. Shut up. Take a look at the help section in your Alexa. But anyway, I got Alexa goes on sale around. Oh my gosh! So Alexa goes around twenty dollars around Christmas time. I didn't. I got it around there for a gift. Also, it's a perfect thing. It controls all these lights right here. In the background, as you probably saw earlier on the video in the demonstration up front, it's like where I turn on the lights, saying, uh, I'm not gonna say it, but yeah, it, it's awesome. You can ask it any question, anything you want. But I turned it off, hoping that it wouldn't respond, but I guess it did. And, uh, yeah. But 
Over here we are, we have these lamp things, these LED things that I use usually when it's night and stuff and I don't get that natural light inside my room so I have to use these LEDs to kind of move up the brightness and stuff. But these are like extremely bright LEDs as you can probably see like this. It's extremely bright. But it has like this little knob on the back that you can just brighten this with. I'm actually using it right now because it's uh, dark outside and I need some light in here for my video. So moving on to the lights and stuff. Under the desk we have these uh... I'm, I forgot it, but I'm going to leave the link down in the description below. We have these LEDs under here. LED R, uh, RGB lights. Uh, I can't even say it. Uh, I have it under my desk, under my bed, and then behind my monitors here. It makes everything pop out more. Like, this is what it looks like when the lights are off. See, it's definitely not that exciting as when it looks on. But that's why I bought these RGB lights. The ones behind the monitor and on my desk, for a for 32 feet of it, it was only 30, 26 dollars, I think. And then the ones over here, I bought two of them for 27 each, so it was 16 feet of them each. But um, it also came with the wireless thing, and it also has an app with it, so it's very nice. Yeah, so it's definitely a nice add-on that I give some color to your setup. And I definitely love the lights. It makes my stuff pop out a lot more, I feel like. It, it's kind of just fun to walk in your room and see the lights on like that. So, next thing is we have, you can't see behind here, but there is some cable management stuff and the arm stuff. And actually before that, I'm going to... Uh, tell you about the Lifex bulb I have over there. This is this thing that's on right here. I just turned it off because it can turn the different colors and stuff. But um, yeah, Lifex bulb is uh, it goes around fifty dollars. It is a pricey bulb, but it is amazing. Like there's over sixteen million different colors. I think you can do on it. Maybe even more. But and then surrounding it is the lampshade. It's a IKEA lampshade for $20. It's kind of like this little Asian fabric or whatever. I don't know what it's called, but like you see in the movies. So, but it just adds to the setup and stuff. And so right above that, I have this decoration, this guitar. I actually do play guitar. If you saw my um, voice trolling videos out on my webcam, my acoustic guitars, and uh, ukulele, electric, and bass. I do play all of those, but um, as to the setup, like without that, this wall would kind of be bare, and one of, this adds to the setup. I know it's not in red or in my channel colors, but it still adds to the setup, really. And so to get on about the um, arm mounts for my monitor, that's how you see no cables coming down, and then I also have a cable thing right here. That I painted, you can probably see one of them right there. But, so to get on the cable thing, I'm actually gonna go grab an example. So these are the cable runners that I use, and that's what hides behind there. So as you can see, it's cable runner, simple, and it comes with more stuff than just like the straight right here. But, Yeah, it slides in like that, and you can actually hold a ton of cables, especially USB. Uh, but HDMI, you can hold, I can hold three of like the t t uh, smaller cord HDMIs in there, um, and a USB added onto that. So definitely a huge positive. Easy slide in, easy slide out, and that's pretty much it for this. You can also paint it, so you can see one of them painted. I tried to match it mix white and blue and try and make it my wall color because my wall color is like a light blue but it didn't work out so much so I'm gonna like probably repaint it sometime but as you can see it's not even noticeable as that and down there by my lampshade right down there I also use it uh, and it blends in right with the wood 
surrounding my floor down there. It's like a little decoration folded and stuff. But to get on the arm mounts, so I have two, I forgot the name, but I'm gonna leave the link down in the description below. There's uh, two of them, and they are awesome, actually awesome. They're full metal, and here's the thing, 13, 13, 1399. Gosh, I can't even say that. Um, but they're full metal, and move back and forth, awesome, actually awesome. It has over 5,000 positive reviews on Amazon, I think it's rated like 4.7 stars or something, and it's 13 freaking bucks, guys. Like, why not get it? You pay $13 just to get your cords off and make a cleaner setup, I'd totally pay for that. And then the final thing in this setup, we have the, um, to mount this curved monitor right here, it takes a special mount, so I got a VESA mount, or whatever they call them, uh, the exactly fit my Dell curved monitor back there, and here, I'll show you it right here. Yeah, so, it actually even comes with a, um, cable runner so you can put cables through it and all this other stuff to keep your cables organized but my, as you can see my cables aren't organized at all but anyway yeah that's it on the setup so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please leave a thumbs up and to announce the iTunes gift card I'm gonna leave a link down below for the raffle and you're gonna enter your name and stuff if you if you if I don't see your name in there and you commented done on the first voice trolling video, um, I'm gonna add it in there for you. But anyway, uh, please subscribe if you're new. As always, like the video, and I hope to see you in the next video, guys.